The Philippine Air Force's desire to procure multi-role fighters have been in the pipeline for more than 40 years now, and is one of the longest desires that the armed forces of the Philippines in general has failed to realize. The current plan to procure multi-role fighters is just another chapter of that story, with offers coming in from different manufacturers and governments. For this current program, the Philippine Air Force has actually received offers from the usual suppliers like Lockheed Martin with their F-16V Block 70 70 Seconds Viper, Saab with their JAS-39 Gripen C and Gripen E, Dassault with their Rafale, Boeing with their F-A18E, F Super Hornet, Rosober One Export with their MiG-35 Fulcrum and Su-30 Flanker. The Philippine Air Force has also received offers from new players including HAL with their Tejas MK-1 and 1A, PAC with the JF-17 Thunder, and Kai with their FA-50 Block 20 Fighting Eagle. And this have been continuously happening up until recently as these manufacturers, knowing that the Philippine Air Forces has not signed a contract with anyone yet, continuously update with improvements on their products, and other relevant information that may affect the decision makers to select their product. But the reason why the Philippine Air Forces currently only have the F-16V Block 70 70 Seconds Viper and JAS-39 Gripen C in their shortlist are because of several factors. It remains to be seen if the Philippine Air Forces would change its specs to allow twin engine models to be shortlisted. But that means a potential increase in cost, which is exactly the reason why the Philippine Air Forces has no MRFs until now. Deciding to procure a more expensive fighter at this point does not make any sense. For now, the ball is actually with the Philippine government, which has failed to provide the necessary funding for the project to proceed as part of the Horizon 2 phase of the RAF PMP. Delaying it further would force the Philippine Air Forces to look for alternative projects like prioritizing the SAW, lift acquisition project. With Poland signing up for 48 FA-50 Block 20 fig-hitting Eagles, and Malaysia expected to order at least 18 units as well. The queue is getting long for the FA-50 Fighting Eagle and delivery may take longer than when the Philippine Air Forces ordered its first batch back in 2013-2014.